Good afternoon, dear colleagues. So my name is Elia. I would like to introduce myself once again. I'm the head of the Laboratory for Programming and Databases, Agrochemical Center, Belgorodska. Initially, the system was developed only for internal use. But since time, we decided to uh, buy a powerful server so that uh, this could enable uh, to use it by farmers, by agrochemical center, and by the department. Here are presented the uh, technical features of the server. The server uh, contains uh, two processors. Uh, you can use two, six, or eight core processors with a frequency of 2.4 hertz, gigahertz. The power of this, of this processor is enough for, to cover uh, one oblast. So this server can um, cover Russia as well. So server motherboard uh, with two processor sockets uh, is required to support uh, these two processors. For the software in the program itself, so uh, there were installed 32 gigabyte or more registered uh, uh, the DRAM. So also uh, two um, operating systems uh, were installed uh, with this uh, parameter specified. For data storage uh, and backups, uh, we used uh, two SAS HDD. So they are combined uh, by two mirrors, uh, and they con uh, consist of two disks. This enables to protect uh, information uh, in case one is broken. So if one had uh, I, um, data keeper is broken. The second one will be broken uh, by, by chain. So mirror is not required in that case. For this server, we use internet access uh, with uh, 50 megabit per second. This the speed can be more. It's not um, uh, limited. Um, this slide presents information con uh, concerning uh, server software. So server uh, has operational system called Microsoft Windows Server 2016. All software is installed uh, basing on this uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2016. Database is managed by Microsoft SQL Server. This is the system for the management of the database. This system, uh, they are standard, so they are not uh, limited compared to their uh, commercial ones. So in this case, uh, regarding SQL Server, free, uh, free version is limited. You cannot uh, uh, use all uh, cores of the processor. And uh, operative memory is also limited. So the standard version uh, doesn't have such limits. Uh, so we can use all uh, capabilities of our server. The system is managed by Internet Information Services. The system is in the form of, this, of the website and it's, it functions as a website. This application is free. It's in, inside of a Windows Server. So now we come to the tools uh, and um, um, software that were, was required for the uh, elaboration. The scheme for the database management was used uh, for the development of the database. This interface of the library is also free, is as a set of uh, SQL server. For the development of the web application, we used uh, Visual Studio. Uh, the version is professional uh, 2017. To develop functionality and web uh, uh, application, the client part of the application. Uh, we used um, the library jQuery. So for the functionality of the client part of the library, we used the jQuery. This uh, enables to make uh, the application uh, with more functional functions to shorten uh, the program code and unburden partially the server. As cartographic uh, driver and engine. Engine, map engine, okay. We use uh, the library open layers. This library is very powerful, enables to create uh, vector layers and make some manipulations uh, with them. In this case, we can add some layers as it was demonstrated, switch them, and we used for testing uh, the application Mozilla Firefox uh, web browser. So uh, we had to adjust um, the client interface uh, using this uh, browser. 
So in general, we can see that uh, we have this chain of intercommunication. Database, software, client interface, and the outcome of the application can be uh, used in the uh, web browser. The st structure and the uh, intercommunicability of uh, the user. The main point is data and geographic data. All manipulations are done with uh, uh, these things. Uh, it should be noted that the, uh, the whole control is done from the client through the application to the database. Also, the users, they download uh, uh, data using GIS uh, uh, system. All data is contained uh, relatively in the database. Uh, the clients also have the possibility to work uh, through map editors. This enables to make the editing of the maps and upload them to the database. So this uh, movement can be done in two directions. So we can upload the data and download them back. So if it is comfortable, we can use our application to uh, view the reports. Or if we want to see just that data and process them, then we use map editors. So there are such possibilities. And finally, I would like to uh, speak about the possibilities of our system. Partially, we already demonstrated uh, the possibilities of this system. But in brief, I would like to, uh, to stay on some points. Database uh, allows to store all data, add uh, some information, uh, download and edit. So partially uh, the functional uh, for the uh, data editing is contained in the database itself. Database is huge. It contains uh, nowadays around 305 tables. Uh, these tables contain uh, references and the tables with the client's information. So this um, uh, database conti uh, contains more than 300 views. So mainly what we can see, uh, it is based on the requests uh, concerning the views. To process data and make some data manipulations, uh, the database uh, has around 450 uh, storage uh, procedures. So to go a bit aside from this and compare with the database of any online game, such online, any online game can have uh, around 120 uh, tables. So in our case, we have uh, sometimes more. So this is just to evaluate uh, the scale uh, of our work. So the main is the database. This is the root of everything. Uh, so we have the views, as I already mentioned. We can view the reports. So we have the book of history of fields where farmers uh, can uh, insert the information. Uh, we also have the inventory book for the long-term plantings. This system uh, allows to, to build vector cartograms, also make uh, uh, various reports, and monitor or track the movement of vehicles. So here stated not all the possibilities that can be implemented. The functional, the range of functions uh, is uh, quite more. Uh, the limit only in timing. Thank you very much for your attention. Previously demonstrated information uh, relates to the farmers. Our specialists uh, use internal part of the application. So uh, our workers, uh, they have to put uh, login and password. This uh, part is divided into several windows. The left part represents the uh, rayons uh, within the oblast. In the central part, uh, the central part, part represents uh, the companies and organizations, and the uh, right part uh, contains the departments of the uh, companies and organizations and statistics. So how the start, uh, how the work is uh, started? So the specialist has to input the name of the. Uh, region if it is uh, missing in the list. Then he has to add uh, the company. Uh, he has to input the main information, the title of the company, the head of the company, in a name special number for the taxpayers, and the number of the mobile. 
So if it is required, you can add the previous number of the company. So one, uh, then uh, uh, one division is created. If required, you can add any number of the divisions of the company. After we added uh, the company, so our uh, specialists have to add the plan of the task. The plan of the task is uh, similar to the route. So this information contains uh, information about uh, the name of the person, of the specialist, uh, and to which area it goes, uh, he goes, uh, and uh, the timing. So we can add a new uh, plan for the task, uh, put the name of the person, uh, also the area where he goes, and the pe time period from what time uh, till what time he will be there. And then uh, this information will be saved. Then uh, at choosing a specified plan of uh, task, we add the company and we specify uh, the square meters, uh, the number of the samples. So we plan to do this. At the arrival, uh, the information will be uh, in loaded we add actual information, the square uh, meters and uh, the rest that was done actually. This information can, can be doubled, print out. Uh, so e emblems can be also uh, printed out and print out form one, form two. When they come back, they uh, transfer information to our laboratory uh, with the uh, selected uh, probes, uh, samples. After that analysis is carried out, and with the help of this tool, um, the outcome, the data is uploaded. So we open um, the, uh, the name of the uh, company uh, data input data input we um, add the lists so we input all um, agrochemical features we add information about uh, uh, samples and in the middle part, uh, uh, the middle part contains the medium contents of such elements. So based on this data, cartogram uh, is uh, constructed that was, uh, that was demonstrated earlier. There is also function as adding uh, the analysis themselves. Uh, laboratory worker can add uh, information concerning the sample analysis. We can also add uh, soil protocols and connect them to the spe special areas. Internal part contains all reference materials. We can see uh, any um, indices or any parameter that is interesting for us. For example, types of soils. So you can see the list of all types of soils, and this information can be edited. So this is the way how all reference materials are constructed. We can add also the uh, specialists, and we can limit uh, the, ex the level of the access for them. The same uh, refers to the farmers. So this is it. So. Uh, to to continue what was said uh, previously by the colleagues from Moscow, I would like to add some more information concerning the uh, downloading the information from ITs and also from the You should know that the, the tables with the attributes uh, concerning the layer that can be uploaded to the server, we don't require a definite uh, number of uh, the columns. The column can consist of the required number of the columns uh, with which you need. But the database uh, will use only uh, those fields of the tables which it requires. 
On the example of the table, I can demonstrate what the database uh, requires. For example, we have uh, the table of the attributes and uh, a number of fields, but we have to fill in only some certain part uh, of this uh, table. A request uh, to the database concerning the, uh, the procedures is built that the definite uh, values are picked. For example, we can select only nitrogen, potassium, uh, phosphorus, or humus. But as you can see, the table contains uh, much more values, much more indices. So it depends on the request that will be fulfilled. So it doesn't matter on what uh, coordinate system we use. There is a component for transferring. When they transform the coordinate system uh, in which we are operating into their uh, coordinate system which we require. So we select our layer. So we select the layer where we want um, to transform. And we mention the system of coordinates. So here I import a unique uh, code of the uh, coordinate system. Uh, it refers to 1984 uh, here. So if I push uh, OK, this layer will be transformed into the required uh, form. So the um, downloading uh, is done only through this uh, transfer, transformed layer. As far as the database uh, has a certain uh, base of principle way it operates. Uh, this is uh, a <coughs> downloading loading from Arnold's. So I will not uh, repeat the information concerning the downloading, the information which was presented earlier. So about so downloading and uploading. You can download by portions, but uh, uploading is not uh, a bit uncomfortable. So art is, is a powerful uh, medium. Um, it, uh, helps to upload the information and then filter it in that you can get the results. So uh, here I can demonstrate how uh, you can easily upload uh, the information from hard disk. This system has the possibility to upload uh, data from various uh, database uh, You can add the layer from the and also add from SQL special. And others. In this case, as we are working uh, in SQL, so we will we select uh, MS SQL special, and then we have the possibility to connect to the server. We create a new connection with uh, any package. And we have to mention the address of the server, in some case, it's Belgorod's uh, server. Uh, you have to uh, input login and password, and we request the list of the databases. We select our database, and we push uh, the button of the yes, so, okay. so if there is no information in the state, then uh, uh, the connection is uh, enforced. So push OK. So uh, now we can see our connection. Then we uh, select uh, Connect. If there are many tables, then some time is required to download information. As an example, I can connect to Moscow database. So we can see uh, the list of the tables uh, available in, uh, in the system. So you can tick uh, to show tables without geometry. Then you have to select uh, any layer uh, to display. So quite comfortable is that you have to set the filter beforehand. So we have to wait to uh, uh, generate uh, uh, the fields of the tables. The list of the fields uh, selected uh, uh, for our request. So any parameter can be selected. Added into our fields and then we make the, condi uh, the conditions. So uh, I choose the parameters where this, um, the uh, uh, the temperature is less than 10 hectares. Uh, Check on the request. Uh, so the information appeared. Uh, so uh, zero question concerning our request.
Thank you. 